We're talking about the Paris Marathon. 40,000 runners going to take those streets of Paris on Sunday, and they will be generating a lot of energy doing all of that running, and they're going to harness some of that energy. There's a company called PaveGen that is going to be laying down special tiles along the Champs Elysees uh, for these runners. You see there a picture of uh, what some of the tiles are going to look like. They're rubber, they're made from recycled truck tires. It's going to be about 25 meters of the course, or about 82 feet. And the energy from the runners running over this is going to be reharnessed into powering some of the signs along the course and the lights along the course. And you might wonder, it's Schneider Electric, by the way, which is the race sponsor. So the aim is to eventually power everything associated with the race. The from, clocks, et cetera. Exactly, from the runners in the race. This is a picture of, uh, of other installations that the company PaveGen, which is uh, based in the UK, has done. You might wonder, how much energy do you get from this? Well, Schneider says it's going to donate an extra 10,000 euros to charity if generation top seven kilowatt hours. Seven kilowatt hours, by the way, is enough to power a light bulb for five days time and there's actually competition for people who want to guess how much energy is going to be produced by this little endeavor but this is definitely pretty cool. This is fascinating. Know. I mean, this is neat stuff. You know, the fact that we've got people out there actually coming up with an idea. I mean, what a concept. And yet, you know what? It's so obvious. It makes perfect sense, right? Why don't you just harness all this energy out there, people jumping up and down, running? I mean, it makes, you know, you, know, you wonder, Trish, you know, in New York City at rush hour, imagine if we put tiles in Grand Central Station. You know, maybe that would power some of the signage for the trains. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to go to Paris.